Hi everyone, Dr. Perman here, and today we are going to learn how to properly use our tuning fork for a tuning fork assessment during neurological examination. Now, first off, you need the right type of tuning fork. We need a 128 hertz tuning fork. A 256 or a 512 are not going to cut it. Those are used for hearing tests. They're not used for vibration tests, which is why we're using this tuning fork. The whole purpose is to elicit a vibration response that the patient can tell you if it's comparative from side to side. Now, we are going to have to get some vibration going on with our tuning fork. Now, the official way to get this to go is to flick off the edges here, okay? Now, some practitioners will just bang it. Um, you can technically do that if you want, but if we're wanting to be as consistent as possible, we're going to just flick off like this. That's how we're gonna get it to go. Now, next, we have to know how to place the tuning fork on our patient's body appropriately. We need to make sure that when we are holding our tuning fork, we can hold it from two places. We can hold it from the handle here, or we can hold it from the base here. We cannot hold it from the prongs. If you hold it from the prongs, you're gonna kill the vibration right away. And the whole purpose of this test is to see, does the vibration feel the same from side to side? So if you're holding it like this, the second time you do it on the other side, it's always gonna be felt less. If you're using a 128 hertz fork, you should have a nice solid vibration that doesn't diminish for at least 20 to 30 seconds. So you should have a nice consistent vibration if you're doing this test appropriately and using the correct tool. Now, the last thing that we need to know is we need to make sure that as we're applying this to our patient's body, that we are sinking to bone whenever possible so that that vibration goes through the body as best as possible. Um, another way that we're going to help make sure the vibration goes into the body is by trapping the vibration with our opposite hand. So I'll give you an example here. Noemi's helping me today. So if we're gonna do the C5 dermatome, which we'll get to in another video, we would wanna do the anterior glenohumeral joint in through here. So what are we gonna do? We're going to flick the tool and we're going to apply it to the glenohumeral joint. But we wanna sink right to that bone and then we wanna have a hand behind to trap that vibration in. If we have no, no hand behind, that vibration, a lot of it just gets lost out the back and it's not as good of a test. So we wanna make sure that we are flicking our tuning fork appropriately, holding from the base, applying directly to a bone, and then trapping that vibration with our opposite hand. In further videos, we're gonna go into specifically how to do these tests for each specific dermatome, so please follow along to see all of that. 